On today's menu, a very popular recipe from east of India. It is a mixed vegetable curry made during the festival time that is served along with khichuri which is a porridge made with rice and dal. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi and today a popular Bengali recipe known as Labra. Okay, Labra is all about using the freshest possible vegetables that are in season and available locally. Since I live so far away from the place where I grew up, I always make labra with whatever vegetables are readily available at my local market. So I've used sweet potato, radish, it is commonly sold as daikon at Asian stores, butternut squash that I have used in place of pumpkin, then carrots, cauliflower, this is known as tindora. Usually point gourd also known as parval in Hindi or potol in Bengali is used but it is unavailable at my Indian grocery store so I picked these instead. Then I used zucchini in place of ridge gourd. Then I have taken green beans and potatoes are a must for any Bengali recipe and thank goodness they are found all over the world. And finally eggplant. You can even use cabbage or spinach. I personally do not like adding cabbage in this recipe. Guys, you can use any seasonal vegetable according to your choice and availability at your place. Okay, first step, we will be toasting some spices. Cumin seeds, coriander seeds, black peppercorn, a dry bay leaf and a dry red chili. Toast these spices on a low heat, stirring them continuously till they are fragrant but do not roast them for too long as they may turn bitter. Black peppercorn is my addition to the recipe as I love its smell. Now guys, I am not claiming this to be the authentic recipe because it is not and it varies from home to home. Allow the spices to cool down completely before grinding them. Pan on high heat and here I did stick to the traditional recipe by using mustard oil but you can use the oil of your choice. You need to let mustard oil get smoking hot to reduce the pungency and then once it starts smoking, reduce the heat and bring down the temperature before adding anything else. Next goes in a dried bay leaf, two dry red chilies, and this is a combination of five type of seeds known as panch foron in Bengali where panch is five and foron are the seeds that are tempered in oil. This is the most essential component for this recipe. Guys, it is not at all hard to make panch foron and I have a video on it so please check that out. You can even use panch foron for making any kind of vegetable curry and all those individual flavors from each seed does all the magic to a curry. Remember your oil should not be too hot while adding the seeds as they will burn and make the whole dish bitter. Ok, the very first vegetable to dive in is the radish. Frying the radish in oil gets rid of that smell which some people dislike. There is an order in which the vegetables need to enter the pan, starting with the hard vegetables and ending with the vegetables that take the least time to cook. Next in the order are the potatoes. Fry the vegetables on medium high heat giving a few minutes for each vegetable. At this point lower the heat to low and add some turmeric powder to the oil. This brings out its gorgeous yellow color. Now you increase the heat to medium high. Next the cauliflower and sweet potatoes go in. Then the butternut squash or if you are using pumpkin. You can even use green papaya. Unfortunately, it was unavailable at my Asian grocery store the day I went to shop. Now cover the pan on medium heat for about 5 minutes. 5 minutes done, time for the next set of vegetables to enter the pan. The tindora and the carrots. Again lid on and cook for 6 to 8 minutes on medium heat. While that's getting cooked, let's make a spice paste. In a bowl, 
add ground cumin, then red chili powder which is totally optional and grated ginger. Add 4 tablespoons of water, mix and your spice paste is ready. Our toasted spices have cooled down as well, so I will grind them in my spice grinder. You need a coarse powder like this. Ok back to the vegetables. Time for the green beauties, the zucchini and the green beans to enter the scene. Now it's time to add salt and the spice paste. Again lid on, medium heat for another few minutes. Here I have some fresh red chilies from my chili plant. Traditionally lots of green chilies are used, but the green chilies that I am growing are way too hot, so I added red ones. Finally it's time for the last vegetable to enter this parade of vegetables. Eggplants go in. You have to do this frequent drill of lid on and lid off for this recipe. And if you are using spinach then add them at this point. Usually the vegetables get cooked in their own water, but if you see everything is looking a bit dry, then do like I am doing, add a splash of water. I added half a cup of water. For any Indian style vegetable curry, the vegetables need to become mushy. I know you are hearing this from someone who always preaches not to let the vegetables turn mushy. That's true and that preaching is for any stir fry recipe my friends. But when it comes to any Indian style vegetable curry, we like our vegetables to turn very soft and mushy. Ok, my eggplant still needs some more time. I did a taste test and it needed more salt. Then garam masala powder and I used Bengali garam masala powder which is nothing but an equal proportion of green cardamoms, cloves and cinnamon stick that are ground to a powder. Garam masala is optional too for this recipe and many people choose not to use it but I like a little touch of it. And here comes tomatoes. I know many people will be really annoyed seeing these tomatoes but as I mentioned this is not the authentic recipe. The traditional recipe uses the tender stem of a banana tree. Now where will I get that here? That doesn't mean I will not make labra. Guys take advantage of whatever is available at your place and make it work in your own way and let the purists say whatever their heart desires. Sorry if you happen to be a labra purist and watching this video. Ok all my vegetables have turned soft. So now it's time for the roasted dry spice powder to do the final touch. And then to end that circle of deliciousness, it's ghee time. I always make ghee at home as I am never satisfied with the store bought ones. Again ghee is optional, some people like adding it, some don't. I cannot say no to ghee when it comes to labra. At this point you can even add some freshly grated coconut if you like. Final lid on for 2 minutes. Last but not the least, a sprinkle of sugar to sign off the dish. This is served with the rice and dal porridge known as khichuri. I already have an elaborate video on bhogir khichuri or if you want something quick then I have a quick pressure cooker recipe as well. All are showing up on the screen. Please smash that like button if you've enjoyed watching this video. Bye bye.